Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, how noisy is an air source heat pump? So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I've had my air source heat pump on my hot tub now for coming up to two years and I'm super happy with firstly how quick it now heats up but secondly how much money it's actually saved in the process. However I did get a question from a customer this week which was you know, what's the normal sound of an air source heat pump? Is there a problem with my unit because it's making this kind of a noise? And I realised that I hadn't really listen to to my own unit to to actually compare so not only did i do some research to to help the customer answer the question but then i thought i'll put it all together in this video so that the expectations can be set for how noisy is an air source heat pump now before we get on to that always a great opportunity for me to say please do subscribe to the channel hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live i do two long form videos just like this every single week a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, SLC pumps, and pretty much everything in between. So with that out of the way, let's get back to how noisy is an air source heat pump. Well, let's get this out of the way straight away. There is a noise. They are not silent by any way. So you've got to think about the positioning of your air source heat pump when you install it. So you're not gonna want it, for example, underneath a bedroom window, you know, just like you wouldn't want a pump underneath a bedroom window. It's gonna click in during the night, you're gonna hear the drone, it's not gonna be good. Now, for comparison, I would say they're very similar to a split system air conditioning unit. Technology similar, so you would expect similar kind of noises. Now I have my own air source heat pump is actually situated next to the AC for the office. So I have them running side by side and if anything, my AC is a little bit louder than the air source heat pump. But noise is very much a subjective matter. So one person thinks something is loud, another person may not. So the only way that we can do this fairly is actually take some readings and that's exactly what I've done. Now, the noise that comes from an air source heat pump doesn't come from the fan. The fan turning is absolutely minimal in terms of the, the noise that it generates. The noise comes from the compressor. So it's the compressor that does the clever stuff to extract the heat from the air and basically allow it to transfer into the, the water. I've gone into a lot deeper way of how these actually work on another video, so I'm not gonna cover that here. So we'll just go with that real basic analogy there, but the noise actually comes from the running of the compressor. Now, if you have an inverted heat pump, such as I do, my comfort line, I've got the 20 kilowatt, fantastic unit. I'll put the link underneath this video as well. If you're looking for an air source heat pump, I've got a whole range of these from seven kilowatts right up to 24, and they are fantastic units. If it is inverted, it means that it can run at different speeds. So it doesn't need to be at 100% all the time. The way this works is it calculates what the optimum run rate would be or the optimum speed to produce the heat that's needed to go from temperature A to temperature B as per the thermostat, okay? So an inverted unit does a calculation and it saves you money because it's not running at full whack all the time on the unit. Now, the change in the speed you would think would have a, a big impact on the, the actual noise that it generates. Well, in my findings with my unit, it didn't really have that much impact at all. So firstly, the stats that you can see here, I was heating from 33 degrees, which is my summer holding temperature, up to 39 to, to use it at the weekend. And, you know, it started up and you can see here from the readings that the measurement is 71 decibels. Now I've measured this right next to the unit. If you look at manufacturers stated outputs, they will give a distance that they've measured the readings from. You'll also note that they will probably be slightly lower than your real life numbers, just like anything, they're gonna be lab numbers because they wanna make the units look better. So to give you an idea, the comfort lines are stated that they should be around the 57 decibel mark at one meter, 
and my unit, as you can see here, is running at 71 decibels when I'm right next to the unit. So that might be around the 65-ish mark a, a, a meter away, but I wanted to get a, a kind of worst case scenario on uh, the readings. So I waited and I let the, the water heat up for a, for a little bit and then I went back to see if there was any difference when the unit was heating from 36 and it was still on its way to, to 39. And as you can see from the screen grabs behind me, there was very little difference. We're now at 68 decibels rather than the 71 that was before. So I did do some kind of random testing through throughout the day at, at various periods. And the, the lowest reading that I actually got from the unit was, as you can see behind me here, it was 63 decibels, which is pretty much in line with what the manufacturer is saying. So I can conclude with my unit that the noise output is somewhere between, let's say 60 and 70 decibels pretty much all of the time that it's running. Is this noisy? I don't think so. I never really listened to it until I got asked the, uh, the question by the customers. So big shout out to you, Louis. Thanks for asking the question. As I said, noise is very much subjective. I don't think it's particularly noisy as a unit, but you must consider the positioning of your SOS heat pump when you come to install them. I wouldn't put them underneath a window where you would hear a, a drone at night, for example. Hopefully this short video you found useful. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.